right welcome back here's video number five of the covering process on a Aronka sedan we'll do a quick recap on video number four uh, we got the fabric installed uh, we shrunk the fabric to up to 350 um, and then we sealed the weave of the fabric with poly brush and we left it at that stage the fabric has been sealed and the very next step is to start the layout for finishing tapes okay there's a couple areas where finishing tapes are required anywhere where there is a sewn seam you have to have a finishing tape the finishing tape has to go past the seam by at least 3 8 of an inch we start off by laying out anywhere where we think there's gonna be tapes all right in this case all the stringers we're gonna do a finishing tape basically a doubler anywhere where there's you know where floating fabric is gonna touch something uh, solid like a stringer you would want to double up the fabric in those areas uh, the only reason to do that is just for uh, longer life the fabric uh, when you're flying it always drums against anything hard that is touching and those areas are really the areas that are start cracking over uh, long periods of time if you don't double up with the finishing tape. We start drawing the lines. We made this fancy ruler. It's really just a piece of plastic, clear plastic. Uh, it's a two inch plastic that we made um, and it makes it real easy to draw the lines on the stringers. Uh, because the tape, the most common tape that we use is a two inch tape. Um, but you can use a ruler, measure it out, uh, and then draw the lines that way. So we do the complete layout. You know, we look at everything and decide, okay, we want a finishing tape here. If we want a tape there, we draw the line. Once we draw the lines, then we'll go back to poly brush. Okay, this is the same product we use to seal. The weave of the fabric okay the taping steps are simple uh, you want to do a pre-coat let it dry then a wet coat lay the tape into the wet coat and one third and final coat over the tape now the main reason for these lines is just to try to do it as neat as possible okay you pre-coat in between the lines because um, if you just build up poly brush make a big mess and you're not in between the lines then you'll see that build up forever so we try to do it as neat as possible stay just inside of the lines so pre-coat let it dry a second coat you lay the tape into that second wet coat and one third and final coat over the tape where we have it all pre-coated and we're ready to start taping you can see here we're laying down the second coat of poly brush and this stuff dries pretty quick so you can do the whole stringer there and expect to be able to lay the tape so we do it in sections okay we'll do a section You can see we lay the tape down. There goes the tape. You're gonna use your your hands to try to keep it, you know, wrinkle free. And uh, and then you move on to the next section. Now um, at that point you could do the whole tape, then go back over it and do the third and final coat over the finishing tape. Uh, one thing I want you to notice is on that finishing tape where we end it, we did a little bullet or, you know, a round ending to the tape. It just makes it look nicer, but you can cut it straight. You can do it however you want, but this is just uh, something that we do to make it look uh, nicer. We round the tapes wherever they're going to end. yeah that's about it here's uh we're walking around the fuselage we got all the tapes uh not all the tapes but we're we're taping away 
and you can see the tapes are down one final coat over the tape and that's uh that's it for the finishing tapes okay that's it for the finishing tapes uh this is it for video number five uh we'll we'll have video number six out shortly um and we'll take you through the entire process of covering an aronka sedan so subscribe follow us and we'll keep you updated